Welcome to Change Your Funk to Fun with your host, Mary Mazur. Learn how your body, mind, and spirit operate and learn how to access a sacred, powerful tool called Psych-K to assist you to ignite the wisdom within you to rewrite any limiting beliefs. So please welcome the host of Change Your Funk to Fun, Mary Mazur. Oh, hello. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network, and this is Change Your Funk to Fun. We are in episode two today, and today's talk is that I can trust myself and others again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we're going to be talking about trust. We're going to talk about, uh, yeah, uh, what it means. What does it mean to trust? Uh, Why is it so difficult or hard to trust ourselves or others sometimes? And then you have the answers within you. That's the gift. Uh, You today will be able to identify, yeah, what may be blocking you uh, from fully trusting yourself, your intuition, your internal guidance system uh, of the beautifulness that you actually are uh, so that you can live the most wonderful, uh, magnificent, expansive life here. Uh, We are living in such amazing and challenging times right now, Uh, depending on uh, what you're going through right now or or any family members or uh, people that you love, care about, and even the world. uh, Yeah, you're going to have your own unique perspective, and we want to honor you for your perspective for that. (laughs) So uh, my role here uh, is to help hold the sacred space for you, uh, to help you feel comfortable enough and safe enough to become more vulnerable within yourself so that you can open up uh, new doorways within yourself so that you are able to begin to trust yourself again more in a higher, more expansive way and to trust others and to actually uh, let yourself uh, raise your vibration, raise your frequency, raise your level of consciousness um, within yourself so that that this will become a more natural way of you living that of course like in 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 uh, hopefully a short time for yourself uh you may be able to um live and be and be in that state of consciousness where yes of course i trust myself and i trust uh, my internal guidance of uh of how i'm being uh, moved and uh and transforming in this world right now because <laughs> believe it or not we are actually transforming at this very moment <laughs> yes 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 and many of us may be uh, thinking oh what do you mean by that or uh, how could that be actually happening well yes hello we are in october of uh, 2023 and uh this is a massive massive transformational changing time uh, have you noticed especially the last three years <laughs> Definitely. I mean, even like 2020 or 2012, 2012 was probably like the first beginning, I think, really big times going. There have been many other ones too, but um, this is where we are accelerating our transformational growth within ourselves. So what does that mean? Mm-hmm. And we're going to be using the word mean quite a bit here. <laughs> and actually, even before we jump into about what does that mean, uh, let's talk about the word mean. Uh, I, my uh, my spirit and my uh, hmm, internal guided system uh, of the love and the light that we are and that I know I am and you are too, um, has been playing with words with me. And so I will play some words with you and then let you kind of dance along here too. So um, let's say, hey, what does that mean? We'll say that word a lot, right? Hey, what do you mean by that, right? We like to get more understanding or more um acknowledgement of interpreting what what someone is speaking about what someone is sharing uh, with ourselves this will also help with your trust too of course so uh, it's really interesting so what i was shown uh, within myself is that on one end of the spectrum of the word mean can be a really 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 negative part like when have people been mean to you right or when have you been mean to yourself so mean can actually uh mean oh my gosh like that just really sucks that's just it's terrible right it's mean it's like wrong it's yucky it's funky it's definitely a yucky yucky funky that's for sure and then as we move up the spectrum or maybe let's say more of an expansive way of viewing the word mean it can be into the next one of more of curiosity more of uh yeah being a little more open and then wanting to be um be able to see something in a new way so we can ask hey so what do you mean by that or what does that mean Hmm. it's actually a really great question to ask yourself 
And, it, and actually, if you can kind of put that in one of your quills <laughs> within yourself throughout your day and throughout your life, it actually is going to help you uh, be able to trust yourself, uh, help you find ways within yourself to access your wisdom, your true essence, uh, the true uh, knowingness that you actually have and have access to. Because uh, believe it or not, you might not have known this yet, but we actually all have access to the all-knowingness um, of divinity, of oneness. You can say that um, the mind of God, many, many people may share it that way, whatever that means for you. But uh, if you can, uh, hmm, yeah, just uh, stay curious with me here today uh, and allow yourself to say, hmm, that is a really great question that I can use from now on. So we'll use it now. <laughs> hmm, what does that mean? Right? Exactly. Especially to really trust people, to really trust yourself and trust others. And then on the far um, um, opposite end of, of like the really dark, dark, or say negative parts of mean is, is the meaningfulness. Like how can I turn this into something meaningful? Uh, something that is actually good. Something that is like, oh, I have a new perception of something. I can see the whole picture of something and the details of it that then can help you with trusting, helping you with anchoring in and remembering who you are, knowing who you are. Ah, yeah, and that's a whole another discovery right there. And then, yeah, being more comfortable with yourself, with your, with your discernment, with your decision making. Uh, when to do things, when not to do things. Yeah, when to be and when to act or, or to do. So these are parts of us that we are learning how to unify. Oh, yeah, yeah. 2023 is a big unification year. <laughs> yes, it is. With our masculine and our feminine within us. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so yes, we have two parts within us. Uh, the This universe is a universe of... Um, the masculine and the feminine energies. It's the universe of the opposites, <laughs> of um, having a very expansive way to be if we so choose and a very contracted way if we so choose. So with that, with trusting, the two ends of the spectrum would be one of it, one of suspicion where there, is a, there isn't trust. There's a lack of trust. Like, nope, it's impossible to trust. And instead, you, uh, you there may be an aspect within you that is suspicious, that is like... Uh, 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 contracting, uh, resisting, blocking, um, preventing uh, even your own uh, wisdom and knowledge and connection with all knowingness to actually easily flow through you. And we get free will choice here living on this planet. Yes, we do because <laughs> we are divine beings here uh, with free will choice. And that's actually absolutely beautiful. That's actually what true unconditional love essence is, is when we can actually be completely open and allow our own selves the freedom to choose at any moment. How do we want to be? How do I want to um, do things? How um, would I love to uh, remember again of who I am? Mm. These are all beautiful. So, Whatever level you are on the spectrum, whether you're in a, into um, a very contracted level of, of suspicion or not trusting at all, and that's not easy for you to trust, or probably because you've been hurt before, uh, to the other end of the spectrum that you are able to completely trust yourself and others in this world. Mm. So this is what we're going to be dancing here in this playground, the playground of trust here. So welcome, welcome to the playground of trust, <laughs> which I will offer for you. Okay, so ooh, I, I would um, guess that the majority of people listening today uh, were born in the 20th century, like myself. Mm -hmm. We could have some millenniums here, and if we do, welcome. We welcome you too. <laughs> and majority are um, from the 20th century. Uh -huh. In that century, in that time period where we had that we were born um, in a very contracted time where there really was more on the suspicion end. Many of us probably had parents that were very um, cautious, right? Or um, even could even be just self-serving or they're just in a survival mode or even some suffering and pain um, consciousnesses and doing the best they can. I mean, they definitely raised you and raised you well because here you are, right? You are here. <laughs> and hopefully they gave you um, some love and guidance and truth and things like that. <laughs> the gift is, is that you, we get to, um, you know, obviously take the great pieces that we got from our parents, thank goodness, or whoever raised you, whether it's your grandparents or a relative or um, whoever it is that raised you. Uh, trust and know if you can, um, hmm, 
play with me here a little bit and uh, just offer for yourself that you uh, may have agreed uh, to experience in that way. So whatever you did uh, embody, uh, especially those first seven years of life, is actually all here for you. It really is. And this is really a potent time right now for us to start um, opening up that doorway to begin to allow ourselves to trust ourselves again and to trust others again. And it is just a decision. It actually is a choice. And then once you make that choice, and if you're at least willing to, and you have the courage to, and that when you can remember again that you can, because yes, you can just choose to trust and uh, one thing that may be a little challenging is because we uh, don't know the next moment or the unknown, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is how we live here. <laughs> and actually, in a positive note, when actually you are able to trust a lot or when maybe a lot of good things have happened in your life, that it, it definitely can become easier uh, to trust that whatever is happening is happening for you. And at the deepest level, when you uh, can allow yourself to remember that, Whatever is happening is actually happening from you. It's actually coming from you, within you, based on the beliefs and the interpretations and the um, truth that you have created within yourself about anything. That is then going to come out into your outside world. Yeah. So your outside world, our outside world, is just a reflection of what you believe within yourself or what you know or what you trust or don't trust. And if these things do come out outside in your outside world, they're actually here for you. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I offer a tool called Psych K. So Psych, P-S-Y-C-H hyphen K. Psych is uh, short for psyche. It is your mind, your soul, and your spirit. And then, then K stands for the key to unlock your personal power, to activate, yes, your truth within you, actually the trusting within you, uh, your knowingness within you. And uh, the Psyche is just a beautiful, precious, simple, and powerful tool. So if you're hearing about it today, we welcome you. <laughs> and we definitely welcome you to um, offer for yourself either a private session or come to a workshop and learn how to use it for yourself on a daily basis. And then you can actually offer and help others. We'll be talking more about that at the end of the show. <laughs> so for now, We'll just imagine that you might be a little curious about Psyche, and that would be really great. <laughs> and I can even, I'll be sharing with you, you know, how Psyche has helped me trust um, greatly in these times and trust myself and trust others and how I have been able to help other clients and other um, uh, beautiful beings who have come to my workshops uh, to learn this for themselves, for them to expand in their trustworthiness within themselves where they couldn't before. Um, to have courage to do things that they maybe wouldn't have done before that now that they are doing. This is so precious and so huge. So uh, we welcome you for that. So um, many people may say, okay, so what does Psyche do? What, what, how does it work? How, how does that really happen? And uh, <laughs> that's a very great question. Thank you for asking that. <laughs> all right. So Psyche um, uses uh, all aspects within you. It helps you um, basically dissolve the veil that you agree to have coming here. We all agree to come and live on earth and forget that we are divine uh, incarnations here, meaning that you actually are um, an aspect of oneness, of source consciousness, or people may call God, the um, beautifulness of all power and all creation, uh, all of that. So if you can imagine yourself being like a sun ray of the sun or like a rain droplet <laughs> or a little droplet of the ocean, and if you are able to hmm, allow yourself just to open up a little bit of trusting that this could actually be true, um, and if you're willing just to begin questioning things again, that will really, really help assist you navigate um, with the changes that you are open to and ready to seek. Yeah, yeah. So that's also another great question to ask is how ready are you for changes? We all each will go through different um, windows of time where there's a big, big looking zone, you know, where you're like, man, and, and the gift with that is it actually when um, challenges are happening in your life. So you may have um, some challenges, whether it's a health challenge or a relationship challenge, a financial challenge. That's a big one now, especially in the United States with prices going up and um, people getting laid off and things like that, that it can be a really um, very, very challenging time, or even like with the war issue going on across the world and um, pieces like that. Um, it's meant to uh, be here for us. So once you recognize that, each of these actually are an offering for you to begin 
or to enhance your ability to trust uh, within yourself, trust your, your guidance, trust uh, whatever choice you make, you're making it for the best option that you're able to do it at that moment because that's all you can do. Uh, whatever we're doing, we're doing the best we can at each moment uh, with, with the tools that we have, with the capabilities that we have, uh, with the awareness that we have, right? So the gift is, is that we all are being uh, called to expand in our consciousness, to expand in our awareness, to expand in our vibration. So literally, so you can begin to feel better. You'll actually be able to flow more and um, experience uh, the true authentic love that you actually are and that actually each being is here so that you can also begin to see the divinity in each one that you interact with and actually um, bring out that goodness in them and even the goodness within yourself. But many times the opposite happens. And a lot of that can be because of all the experiences that you have gone through up until this point. And uh, we actually want to congratulate you uh, for being here because, hey, you're still here. <laughs> there are a lot of people going right now. And that is um, quite also um, very challenging and hard to. And uh, my heart goes out to all of you who have lost ones. Uh, my brother has just recently lost his wife. And uh, it is. It's really can be very uh, sad and challenging um, with that. And in that is that deep love and that deep trust. And even with witnessing with him how... how um, preciously, he's moving through uh, this very uh, challenging time. Uh, he does have a strong faith. So uh, if you are able to um, to connect in, in with that faith, the faith of um, creation, and whatever that means for you, if you were raised in a religious up upbringing, beautiful. If you're raised like with more of a science upbringing or just more of figuring it out on your own upbringing, all of it is purposeful and all of it is here for you okay yeah and then when we can admit that and bring that in it everything will begin to change because guess what you're actually like the driver of um <laughs> of being in the car if you want to say or even like i love sailing so we'll be using um examples of sailing that you are the captain of your ship and once you can admit that and recognize that uh, and then actually start anchoring up your trust within yourself uh, your whole life will begin to change and, and really trust those signals that you're getting. Oh, so I'm excited for you. We are going to be um, going to be asking key questions within ourselves, which is what's going to help bring up the answers within you, because you actually have the wisdom within you, the answers within you, that can help you expand in trusting yourself and in trusting others. So uh, we're so grateful for this. Uh, right now, we're going to take a short break. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, and we'll be right back. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. 
We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We are in episode two today, and this episode is that I can trust myself and others. Yes, 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 yes. So we are encouraging you uh, to put on your trusting hat today. <laughs> How about that? And that and be in this playground, this playground of trusting. Uh, in this playground of trusting, uh, it is actually important for you to allow yourself to be brutally honest with yourself. You know, are you willing to uh, be fully open and honest to the aspects or areas within your own self first? We're going to work with your own self first, and then we will then bring it out to the outside world. Many times it's easier to just not trust others outside, and we're being so suspicious or concerned about that or limited or blocked. But let's begin with yourself, because anything outside of yourself is actually uh, maybe offering you things that you can actually help yourself within yourself. And then going within and working with that, reconnecting back into your love again, back into your true essence. It could be uh, uh, gateways of forgiveness, um, gateways of letting go and um, accepting and viewing and being in a new way, literally like a, a death and a rebirth experience. So if you can allow yourself, and we're going to um, have the focus be about relationships. So trusting yourself um, in relationships, because we are in relation with like everything here. Isn't that interesting, huh? <laughs> yes, we are. So let's do intimate relationships and then even family relationships. Um, intimate meaning the people closest with you. And then we'll move into about money, the relationship with money, and then even the relationships with nature. So, um, and then trust, and then it's up to you to gauge your own self. How are you in the, in with trusting yourself and even trusting them, we'll dance with both of those, uh, with that other partner or that other being there with you. Okay. And then the gift is, is that the opportunity of what this is bringing for you. And if you have a chance to write things down or draw things, that's really great. Or if you're just listening and then later on, go do some reflection time, go back and do some reflection time. And maybe you can even re-listen to this again. So here's some key questions you can ask yourself uh, that we're going to um, play with in our playground. <laughs> so it could be like, um, you know, going down the slide or going on a swing or going on the merry-go-round. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Let it be fun. Let this, um, let, let's have us change our funk to fun. So anything that's funky, that is limiting us and being able to fully trust our own selves, our own intuition, our own guidance system, uh, then let this help you right now. Okay. And this will be a gift for you because this is what's happening. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. So let's, um, let's, um, open up about r romantic relationships. It's one of my favorite. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So whether you are already in a romantic relationship or partnership or you're not, or if you're single, I'm single right now. And, uh, but, and I was in a relationship for 31 years. So I, um, honor and love a beautiful, beautiful, uh, devoted, intimate relationships. It's absolutely precious. The gift come here is that you're actually going to, um, Allow yourself to be able to trust and allow yourself to actually have this intimate relationship with your own self first. And then, then actually it's going to really help with your outside relationships with whoever you're with. <laughs> so we'll play around with the one that's the partner either you would like to be in partnership with or that you are in right now. Whew. So then just ask yourself this question. Uh, what do I need to let go of in regards to my relationships related to my values and my beliefs that aren't serving me anymore? That's the biggest question there. Because there may be parts that you uh, might be running in your relationship, but it's just, if, if you feel frustrated at all, challenged at all, um, angry, uh, resentful, betrayed, uh, yeah, uh, guilty, um, just, yeah, any of those pieces, those are all here for you because those are just contracted ways of your energy, of your love, of who you are. That is here to signal for you. It's actually giving you messages. It's actually offering. It's here to offer something for you if you would like to, uh, 
yeah, be able to transform, be able to change a little bit, and then expand again in your love and light of who you are. So you can experience in new ways of the natural flow of trusting yourself and trusting others. Mm. So like an example of what you might need to let go of, it could be, let's say you uh, had an agreement, you know, with the families that you were uh, born into, the religion that you are a part of, and this could be for thousands and thousands of years of like, okay, once you marry somebody, you have to stay married till one of you dies. That's a, that's a very common one that we all, a majority of us agreed on, which is really quite interesting, especially because many of us live very long lives now. <laughs> Woohoo, that's a big one, right? And I'll even use myself as an example. I met my um, partner at that time when I was only 20. I was 20 years old, super young, right? And then even got married at 23. I um, started very young with that. And then I did, I did make a commitment to um, stay for the rest of my life until one of us dies, right? Because that's what I was taught to do and told to do. I, I actually embodied that value and that belief because it was what my, my um, belief system that I was raised into with the religion that I had in um, my family. So I didn't know any different. And I, I so um, get that. <laughs> and then what happens is life flows. Life goes. We had four kids. Um, I'm working. He's working. I'm doing my thing. He's doing his thing. And then guess what? We both are two individual separate beings um, with our own beliefs and our own viewpoints and our own ways of, of, of um, wanting to experience life, things like that. I know at least for myself, what ended up evolving is I had, I just got brutally honest with myself. That's what I did. And so I just started asking, right? You know, who, how much do I trust? You know, are we open hearted with each other? Are we sharing how we really feel? You know, are we growing in the same direction? Do we want the same things? Do we want to experience similar things? You know, when you're with a partner, um, it would be really great and helpful if you guys are willing to want to be open, open-minded, open-hearted, uh, share, be vulnerable. How do you really feel? How, that level of trust has to be high in order to have a healthy relationship. And if that trust starts to break down, uh, and, and it can definitely with situations that happen and experiences and choices that we make, absolutely. And I know I've made some really nutty ones, crazy ones, funky ones, and we all do it for the reasons that we do it for. And then so did my um, ex at the time too, that it will have ripple effects. It can have um, effects on your vibration within you, your uh, beliefs about yourself, your viewpoint and your own trust within your own self and others. And then that's where um, if relationships do need to end and move on to another one, then then there's a time for that. And the gift comes in is it's nice. I would love to help bring into this planet <laughs> and with people to, to bring in the kindness and the grace and um, love so that if there is a time of a completion of a relationship that we can actually honor it and that we um, can do it in great love um, in great kindness, um, so that if, if two um, people do need to separate and move on, that, that it can happen and actually allow each other to grow in more beautiful ways. And that's actually what's happening now with me and my ex, that he is growing in new ways, and I am too. And I honor, love, and respect him, and I hope that he does with me too. Uh, yeah, so then the gift is that to trust in your own intuition and when you need to take steps uh, to make big changes like that. The other way would be in, in an intimate relationship, if you are growing together and you are being, allowing yourself to stay open-minded and open-hearted, uh, to be vulnerable, to share, to love, then that is so beautiful. And to allow that trust within each other to grow. That grow. So if you don't trust yourself or one another, it will come out in, in a way. It will come out in, in challenges, experiences, and things. And that, that actually brings opportunities. That's actually when you can actually say, hey, Something's going on and, and, and the gift to be able to have uh, the confidence within yourself, the guidance system, the trusting within yourself to have those crucial conversations. And then I definitely would offer for people to do it sooner than later. I think I definitely waited too long and then just let things just kind of happen how they were. And that, that was my learning curve. So um, each of us are going to learn through relationships, which is super important. But um, yeah, the gift is you can learn from others. So if you want to learn how to help enhance relationships or how to really help them continue to grow and blossom, one is that each one needs to be able to continue to grow. That's a big one. And want to grow together because you're, you're in a relationship together for a reason. <laughs> how interesting is that? And it is for very interesting reasons. And that's actually a big one to start navigating. So what would be the reasons that we are together? 
for many of us, it's a lot of it is for safety and security. That's exactly why I got married is I wanted that safety and that security. And it does feel good when you are sharing a life with another. Uh, it does help things become easier. The bills you guys can pay together and uh, work things out together. And uh, yeah, I know for me, I definitely felt safer and I felt more secure by having a partner. It was actually a, a huge identity for me and it can be for a lot of people. And then my spirit and then listening and trusting within my own tuition that it, there was a time that, um, that, that that had finished and it completed its, its, its um, journey, its cycle. And that I had to be true. That now I am upgrading into uh, trusting and feeling equally secure and safe uh, within just living with just me. <laughs> and being single. So that's a whole new, whoo, interesting, funky time. That's for sure. And it's, um, it's actually, um, growing and, and beautiful. It's helping me. And, and I'm just offering this for anyone listening. It can help you whoo, to, um, really, really, uh, allow ourselves to trust. And it is trusting in the unknown, trusting to know that we are actually always, um, held and always carried by the beautiful, life force of the universe the, uh, the power of um this amazing creation love energy that flows through each one of us and that is here to help us create in new ways and uh yeah super huge and in order to be able to trust in this way to be able to trust the unknown or trust that you're being held and carried and guided deeply is that we have to move into our hearts our hearts are the true gateways Mm hmm. Yep. I know most of us have been living from our minds. I know I certainly did it for many, many years. And then um, with the gift of Psyche, that actually was what helped me uh, move into my heart and let my heart lead now. And that means I check in with how am I feeling? You know, how, each day, how are things going? How am, I, how am I doing? How am I feeling? And I check in the gauge of how I'm feeling because that is like the vibration that I'm running. It lets me know what level of trust I'm in because if I am in a little lower level, then it's going to, um, it's going to show up in more challenging ways versus a higher level. Um, it will be, um, brighter and easier and more in the flow. So we are going to, um, dive into more questions here about relationships. I think relationships is a potent one. I know it's definitely for me and, and anyone else who's listening. Uh, we, um, right now we'll take a short break. I am Mary Mazer. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. And we'll be right back and dive into more questions that you actually have the answer for within you. All right, we'll be right back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. Yeah, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network, and this is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode two, hmm, and this episode is that I can trust myself and others. 
Uh, so we are um, offering, yes, new ways for you to view uh, things within yourself so that you can trust yourself and trust others and, and find the ways that can really help you greatly. Because when you are able to trust, really, uh, your life will begin to flow again. It really is the, the gateway uh, to flowing, to um, surrendering a bit. There's a bit of surrender. There's a bit of allowing. And these are uh, more feminine energies that we are all being called into. <laughs> so in, to help yourself with trusting more, it is helpful to ask some key questions. Because when you can ask questions and you can uh, let yourself step into your curiosity and your imagination windows, we are creative beings here. We're meant to ask questions. Or we're meant to discover new ways of viewing things. <laughs> Yes. So we were talking about relationships of um, being able to trust yourself in your own relationship within yourself and then also a relationship if you have with a, with a partner, with an intimate partner. And um, the next question that you can ask yourself is, uh, what do I really want in a relationship? That's huge, absolutely huge to ask. What do I really want in a relationship? Hmm. Many times we look at what we don't want. You know, I definitely don't want this and I definitely don't want that. And then there are many relationships you may have had relationships before or even currently that is actually showing you exactly what you don't want. Now, isn't that interesting? And it can be very blatant and, and really, um, yeah, powerful. The gift comes in is when you are able to allow yourself to trust uh, your internal guidance system within you. Ooh, and shift whatever it is that you're noticing that you don't like and then put in what you do want because whatever you focus on is that's what's going to come to you. That's how powerful you are is focusing and whether it's a placebo or nocebo, meaning whatever you do want or whatever you do believe in versus whatever you uh, don't you don't want, um, they both will run equally. So the, uh, it is vital if you can let yourself look for the good, look for what you do want. And what um, I call is that help yourself enter into your heart center, help, help you move into hmm, your emotions to into uh, what feels right for you. And if you are in like, oh, you know, I, I definitely don't want to be treated bad or I don't want to be disrespected or I don't want this, don't want that, then easily let yourself move into what you do want to so say, yes, I want to um, be loved deeply. I want to be adored. I want to be uh, respected. I want to be seen as an equal with my partner and that we get to um, right, create things together. And it is beautiful when you can have your own independence of your own time of being your own individual self because we have a right to be that and have that and have a beautiful balance of that um, interconnectedness, that partnership, the sharing. Mm, the oneness, the connecting, because that's why you're in a relationship. <laughs> I know even for my own, that, that kind of, you know, got smaller and smaller. And that's when I knew I, um, it better just for me to be with myself, reconnect with my own self so that I can become whole and full of my own intimacy with myself. Uh, so that for the next partnership that I um, decide to have, that it will be a beautiful balance. My own independence, his own independence, and then our togetherness, our connection, and our creations together. Uh, and then that way, um, hmm, right. I know for myself, I know I can trust my intuition and trust him uh, for his own. Uh, a lot of it is so we can allow ourselves to ex actually express how we feel. So that's a big one. I know I definitely will help be in a relationship where my partner is able to easily express how they're feeling, how he's feeling, or what's happening, and then and then looking for solutions. Because um, for some people still in like survival or even suffering or pain is they get stuck in victimhood where they, they're blaming either themselves or others or shaming or, or um, yeah, throwing off that somebody else is doing something wrong or why that's so bad. And whenever that happens, that if, that is a big signal. And if you can catch it or even someone else can catch it and then help you with it uh, to just recognize that, hmm, isn't that interesting that that's showing up? Um, how would you like to be instead? You know, how would you rather be? What would be the positive uh, for you to move into if you can? You know, let go of that. And, and many times it is forgiveness. It's, it's forgiving, which means you're opening your heart again, which is really beautiful. And then letting go, clearing things, and then opening up to new, to what you do want. Uh, re returning back to your own self-love again, your own self-trust again, to trust in you. Everything coming to you and coming through you is um, perfect for you. And it's exactly what you are creating within yourself.
and you can upgrade it. You can have it become even nicer, even easier, even flowing. Yes, and because we are living in the Aquarian age, so that's a beautiful reminder <laughs> that things are meant to get easier. We are meant to um, feel very safe and secure and deeply loved and abundant here. And these are like these four big anchors. At least my my um, internal guidance system is showing me and my spirit team, and then um, we're offering for you. So with that, let yourself um, trust, trust in your guidance, trust and know, trust and know whatever question you ask yourself is exactly the right question you're meant to ask. Okay. And we're just offering questions for you to help you get playing in this playground of trusting. Okay. <laughs> so the next question is, uh, what have I learned from where I have already been in my partnerships? And that is a huge one to ask. Instead of keep saying what went wrong or why they're so bad or blah, 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 just ask, what have I learned? For many people, it may anchor up, anchor up your self-worth within yourself and, and help open you up with opening your heart of that forgiveness and letting go of blame. It could also be just remembering who you are again, that you actually are unconditional love, meaning that you can let go of judgment. Anytime you're judging yourself or judging others, you're just, uh, you're just, um, responding in a way that's actually um, a little bit of a stranger to yourself or a little bit of a in human design system we'll call a not self and it's just things that we create in our minds and the gift is you can come back to your unconditional love of who you are mm. and even your contentment within yourself knowing that you are perfectly made exactly as you are letting go of that energy of, of having to have that perfectionism or think there's something wrong with you or you have to do something else to help things get better mm. yeah a lot of us got that. I know I certainly did. And um, many of us did. And this is the, with the gift of Psyche. I do work within myself on a daily basis to transform those beliefs within myself. And that's what Psyche offers. You actually literally upgrade yourself to a new program. Like a, your um, phone, if you want some new apps or things that help you. All right, delete the ones that you're not using anymore. And then insert the new apps and then start using those new apps. And that's what you would use with Psyche. Is that... You'll put in, uh, and you actually have the answers within you. So Psyche helps assist you um, to actually go in and find out what it is that's really important for you to be able to know again, to believe again, to remember again. And then upgrade that at the at the um, subconscious mind level, and that helps you open your heart more, which is so beautiful. And then the gift with that is that this is the moment to lighten your load. Okay, for the journey ahead, we are going to continue to transform. We are going to continue to change this world. And how we do that is by changing what's within us or whatever beliefs we have within us. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're actually anchoring in heaven on earth here for all those who would love to do that. <laughs> or in other um, terms, we are moving from the third dimension to the fifth dimension meaning a separate dimension that everyone felt like they were all separate and individuals and had to do everything themselves up into the fifth dimension, which is the unity consciousness. That's where masculine and feminine unite to work well together within yourself. And then your divine aspect and your human aspect also come in and unite. Uh, this is mighty what we're doing. It's absolutely huge. And you are a part of this because you agreed to live during this time. So thank you. Thank you for being here. It's super huge, super huge. So to do that is by um, being open to learning the lessons um, that, that whatever you experience, because there's gen, gems in them. Just like a geode, if you smash the geode, you'll see all the beautiful crystals inside that, that rock. You actually might have created some rocks or blocks or limitations or limiting beliefs that you embodied. And then you get to actually access your crystalline aspect within you your divine aspect, your true, your truth, um, so that you can trust easily again. And then begin to trust others. Uh, trusting others is huge. Um, it is just a choice, and it is based on the experiences you've had. And if you can just even begin in small ways, um, trusting the little things that you do, and then recognizing the, the good outcomes that come from it. Okay. If anything uncomfortable happens from some, a choice you made, then look for the lessons. Look for, hey, how might this be serving me in some way? It actually might just be a wake-up call. And um, and when you are able to um, get back into your heart, get back into how you feel, connect and vibrate in the love of who you are, uh, you'll find the answers. And you'll actually turn even really hard, difficult things that you can actually see that the gifts that it brought you. And then that that you can actually blossom and turn into good as, as the best that you want to. And you can. You get to decide on this. So, yes, you get to decide where you want to go. And how you want to experience your life. You actually can 
um, create and change these and more powerfully than ever before. We have like, a, 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 like an open highway is what I call it now with the Aquarian age. You really do. It's opening up your creativity. And the, the key with that is to um, be uh, let yourself trust your own intuition. If you feel like you have any blocks to that, that's where I know I can definitely help assist um, with any private sessions with you being able to um, open up those 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 channels within you, those gateways within you, so you can trust again your own internal guidance system and, and love again, forgive again, um, and renew again and begin living in new ways. Uh, yeah, and I actually love assisting with that. And then even we'll be talking about the, the workshops. You get to learn and use this for yourself, which is like the mother load. It's awesome. It's awesome. Whew. So in trusting yourself and asking those key questions within yourself, it also is important to recognize that there is a divine timing for everything. So timing is a very fun, interesting part of the playground of trusting because a lot of us, I know for myself, I have been very impatient here. I, I just, uh, there was a part of me that is always knew things are meant to be happening a lot faster than things would happen a lot slower than what I um, would have enjoyed or liked. And, and I am learning to help master in that. And then it might even be an invitation for you too to um, i'm learning to um to trust mm. trust in the divine timing oh that's a big one <laughs> yes it is oh and if i can offer and ask is like okay so ooh, how might this be helping me by the slowdown like like the time that i am single now and i'm not with a partner how might that be helping me the patience of allowing myself to um, anchor in um, the wholeness within me, uh, my own goals and visions and dreams of what I would love to have and experience here. Uh, yeah, so that when that interconnectedness or that deep connection happens, I know that I'm whole and I know that I can offer a lot of good and, and greatness in a relationship when that does happen. And I, and I will be attracting someone else who's also in that same way. So the two, it's like two like-like energies come together. Isn't that nice? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And it is awesome. It is It is so precious. <laughs> So we are the creators of our time. Believe it or not, we are co-creating this time. Um, beyond Earth, there is no time. So people that pass on and move from this dimension, um, there there is no time, which is really neat. Meaning, we have heard um, many people say that um, it's all the all that time is is in the now moment, like now, right now. How cool is that? And then there's another now moment in a in a new moment. <laughs> How funny is that? And People have um, shared, you know, about um, parallel times and, you know, uh, you can have imagined reality times and um, all kinds of inventive, creative things. Well, the gift is, is that you are here. You're here right now. You're talking, you're listening, you're physical, you're in this whole beingness, right? So just allow yourself to, um, yeah, invite yourself to become more in the present moment. That will help also with trusting is when you are more conscious of just being now here, like now here listening in what you're doing, how are you feeling? How's your body feeling? Yeah. You can let your breath help you. Your breath is a beautiful gateway um, operating system with us. You breathe in the life force energy. Mm -hmm -hmm. Activate it. Whew -whew. And there is that pause of holding your breath just for a few moments and then releasing. And when you release, you literally can recycle. Oh, let go. Re re allow your body to whew, lift off, even with sounds uh, of what you would like to let go. That's another beautiful way. I know I do that a lot with my body. I'm a very sound being. So I will use a lot of, a lot of sounds, <laughs> a lot of motion because we are energy beings. We're literally like this energy pixel beings in this physical form, you know, and, and you are mighty beyond measure. You have so much to offer. You have, you have such unique parts of you, unique gifts that um, you're meant to share with the world. And um, in order to do that, it is important to trust, um, your own internal guidance system within you and um, to completely trust trust even what your subconscious has written even if it's been pretty goofy things or maybe reactive fear or fight or flight or freezing responses it was just to protect you and just to guard you uh, because it, you might not have felt safe and um, psyche is huge for that it was, that's the biggest thing it did for me it shifted me out of fear into my love and, and into my peace of who I am and um, I know it can definitely help offer that for you too uh, that's that's actually a major one that's actually the foundation uh, when you can feel safe and secure then it is easier to trust absolutely you get a lift out of that suspicious land and um, I know and begin to feel good again feel good in your body feel good for who you are 
uh, become thankful for what you've done already, how far you have come already. I'm sure all the experiences you've gone through, um, yeah, from very traumatic or difficult to very um, beautiful and great and joyful and um, blissful. These are all aspects um, of you. And they're all here for you and they're all here for the world. And that, and that, and that what we love to do is we love to learn from them. Mm. So, so ask yourself, how are you doing with divine timing, with your own divine timing? Are you able to surrender and trust and to allow? Yeah, yeah. I uh, took a class on a shift network. I love shift network. <laughs> and they had a beautiful instructor, uh, Chloe Goodchild, who I love and my heart wants to mm, send so much love to her. She teaches about silence and about your sounds, and it's so beautiful. And uh, she showed us uh, this movement that we do with our bodies and with words and with sounds. And so I'm going to offer this for you just in a very short uh, simple way, and then you can definitely go take um, Chloe Goodchild's um, class on Shift Network, which will be wonderful. So the first is that we um, go down to our root chakra, and you can even put your hands one over the other, and then say to yourself, I am. And then I'm dressing up what I like to um, add in, <laughs> so I'm, I'm adapting it a bit. So you can say, I am. <sighs> we are. And let that flow through you. Hmm. And then let your arms open up down by your uh, sacral area, down by your hips, with your arms and hands open. <laughs> and then here, just say, I open and release. Whew. And even let your breath help you with that. Hmm. And then go up to your solar plexus gut area, and you can bring your hands in and just say, I will and I stand. Because that power point there is really powerful, the connection of your lower parts, of your human parts of you with your divine parts, and your um, individual self with your divine self uniting. Hmm. And at your heart center, you can you can come out with your hands and say, I give and I receive. Mm -hmm. And then bring your hands all the way out and say, I share <laughs> and connect. Oh, nice. And you can come up and then come on in here and say, I serve. Yes. And I offer my unique gifts. And then even up here, whew, you can say, I surrender and dissolve. And then back up again, I am. Yeah, we are. And this is who we are. <laughs> and there are sounds that, that um, she has us do with all of that because um, creation was started with sounds. Uh, one, this creation began with sounds and then light and then physical forms. And this is who we are here in this physical form in the third dimension here on this beautiful mother Gaia earth and you are called here you are being called to trust um, to trust even more deeply than you ever have been able to before and what are you willing to go through what are you willing to discover about yourself that might be limiting you from trusting fully you know, what is it uh, that's coming up in your life that has you um, want to be suspicious or want to not trust and then you can even ask like how how might that be serving you and what are you afraid of losing if you actually do fully trust for many of us some of us it's our own individual ego self some of us don't want to let go of that they like just being their own separate self and doing whatever the heck they want yeah we get that that's this part of our our journey here um hmm. and whenever you can uh, recognize that and then um trust <laughs> and know that you're actually being invited where you don't ever lose anything you can't actually it's impossible and with energy and Einstein has shown that with uh, science <laughs> that you can't even ever destroy or get rid of energy no we just change it we just alchematize it so that energy ends up becoming either more expansive or more contracted and then you get to decide what, what energy field you want to flow in how you want to be and then begin, start being that, start feeling that, let yourself experience that. You have this birthright. This is you, this you in your birthright. And we welcome this for you. <laughs> oh, so with divine timing and trusting in divine timing, it, things can go really slow and it can be a, a pause. Everything runs in cycles and rhythms. There are universal laws, or I call them universal ways that uh, the universe does run um, in, in here on earth one of those is that things do flow in cycles and um, rhythms just like there's cycles um, in the seasons of weather 
or even rhythms with waves that the tide will pull out and then the tide will come in. We go through cycles. We go through stages. We go through phases. We were born as brand new newborn beings here. I was a birth nurse for 26 years. So helping these beautiful babies come in the world. And guess what? This gorgeous, beautiful little baby blossoms into a either a little boy or a little girl and then blossoms into a young man, a young woman. All these um, forms of the male and female forms here into maturity and the level of maturity and mastery that we choose to do yeah is in our um, own free will choice so we welcome everyone that's ready to uh, become masters of themselves masters of being able to trust easily for themselves and for others it is, it's a big opening of the heart it's letting your heart run instead of your mind and letting your heart lead and then your mind being a beautiful beautiful servant to your heart uh, yeah, and you actually will feel good when you when you can trust yourself and trust what you're doing is, is the best for you at this moment and the best for others. So we are ending the time period here on Earth where people were just in survival and, well, reproduction and survival and then even a bit of suffering and pain where they could only be focused on themselves and maybe their family. But uh, now we are being uh, moved into... Um, being able to focus um, yes within yourself or absolutely your family absolutely the ones you love and then also others because anything that you, you ever do or who you even are being and becoming does affect everybody else yeah there's an interconnectedness that we all um, affect each other like a butterflies a beautiful little wings actually can affect and, and help assist you know for other um, bigger things that could that grow on this planet is like even tsunamis and um, storms that each of it are contributing uh, for those times that, that, that they are called to have. So in your life, uh, yeah, maybe you do have some storms that you have just gone through and uh, our hearts go out to you for that. In that, may you uh, learn whatever you were meant to learn through those storms and know that you're connected in your love and light always in the love and the light of the universe. Uh, and if you can remember that, it will help uh, those times going through those storms. Uh, it'll help you to be able to move it through it more easily. And we um, highly recommend for, for you to be able to um, whew, to um, lift yourself into doing that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. So we are going to take a short break. Um, I am Mary Mazer. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is... Uh, change your funk to fun and we'll come back for another short time where I'll offer when I'm having workshops and um, how you can reach me easily. Okay, so we will uh, take a short break. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. In this episode we talk about is that I can trust myself and others. You can trust yourself and others. Yes, you can. Absolutely. And it's just in your free will choice to do that. So we are recommending uh, for you, if you are ready, it's all in your readiness. It's your courage and willingness and readiness. And if you are ready to make those changes, a Psyche is one of the most powerful, simple, fast and effective tools to help you assist with that. If you'd like to find more information about that, you can go to my website, igniteandhealyourlife.com. Igniteandhealyourlife.com. And that's Ignite and heal your life.com. I am having up upcoming workshops uh, next weekend, the end of October, October 27th to the 29th. It'll be near Berkeley, California. 
uh, you can look on the website for that. And then a couple weeks later in November, November 10th to the 12th, will be Louisville, Kentucky, a beautiful spot there. It's a three-day workshop where you will learn how to use Psyche, two powerful tools of Psyche to make those changes at the subconscious level so that you can trust more easily within yourself and others and live more vibrantly. I'm also offering an online workshop, and the online workshop is November 17th and 19th. If you just want to begin starting um, to learn this uh, for yourself. So we welcome you to that. And I also offer private sessions. You can look on my website for that too. Oh, we love you. Uh, care greatly for you. You are awesome. And just uh, allow yourself to trust uh, yourself and others. Have a beautiful day. Aho. This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazer. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave TV Network.